Good morning to literally anyone except the people who decided that changing the time was a good idea. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different style video. I got inspired to do this when I got a question asked on my Instagram about what to do on your slower weeks. So we're going to be talking about what to do on your slower weeks, your slower days. So today I do have a half day. I booked this half day on purpose. It's kind of like a in the salon work day. I'm going to be getting a lot of content. It is currently 8.15. My client is at 9, so I'm gonna drive to work. Okay guys, hi, I am back. It is now four o'clock and today ended up being so much more eventful than I thought it was gonna be. I actually got off work at one and clearly I am home now at four. So today I'm gonna be giving you tips and tricks on what you should do with your slow days or weeks at the salon. And like I said, I don't have very many of them to be completely honest. This week is a lower week for me and it really is just like two half days and I'm working six days, basically five full days. I know how it feels to have slow weeks. We all start somewhere. These are some tips on what you should do, how you should spend your time, how you should embrace your time when you do have some. So the first thing that you should do is really review your business. Why are you having these slow weeks? I was having a lot of slow weeks when I was at my very first salon and the second I moved, I was booked out two months. And I don't know if that was just the specific spot I was at. I don't know if maybe it was the location. The salon I'm at now is actually downtown. So I don't know if maybe people liked the vibe better. And and it was in the middle of a pandemic, which is when people were struggling to get other people in. So whether it's your location, maybe you are a rental stylist and you just don't have enough clients, maybe you should switch to commission. Maybe you just don't feel comfortable doing hair and you need to go back and be an assistant. You really have to put your ego aside and just be like, okay, why am I slow? What's making me slow? Is it my environment? Is it that I don't know enough? Is it that I need to learn more? The next thing you should do with your slower weeks, find someone to shadow or assist for really take advantage of that there's no better way than to spend your time learning from someone you admire or look up to taking shadowing days is going to be so beneficial to your career you seriously will learn so much when I graduated cosmetology school I had about a two-week period of just not having my license and so I would go and shadow people shadowing basically means you're not touching the hair you're literally just watching and I would drive hours to go shadow somebody that I really admired and really looked up to so if you have two days or even a day off why not reach out to someone the worst they can say is no it's a great opportunity just to learn something new see a new environment maybe you want to check out the salon it's a win-win in every situation the next one is try out a product or a product line that you've been wanting to try sometimes I get too nervous to try it on a client so when I have an unexpected day off I will bring out a doll head and try the new product the new bleach the new color line it really is the best way to get you re-inspired so bust out that mannequin head maybe try a new color placement a new color technique a new color line take advantage of that free time learning something new another thing you can do is update your social media a lot of times this one goes to the back burner for me I literally just don't have free time to do this my Facebook is outdated my Instagram highlights are so outdated the first thing you see on my Instagram highlights is something I did like three years ago which is so so embarrassing. Maybe it's time to build a new website. Honestly, having time off is just the perfect opportunity to redo your social medias, revamp your page. Maybe you don't really have a brand, revamp your social media, especially if you have the time. Next thing you could do is batch your social media content. The number one thing you could do to grow your clientele is social media. Social media is everything nowadays so plan out your instagram content plan out your posts your reels by the way if you don't follow me on tiktok i'm gonna put that right down here you should totally follow me something that i really like to do is go through my old content pictures that i've taken months ago and rebatch that into something new that way when my schedule is really busy and i have nothing to post or i didn't have time to get pictures that week i have some already stashed up and ready to post and go for the week and the last one i have for you is focus on your education when things are 
busy. It takes so much of me to put on a hair video or go through my Thriver Society class. I am in Thriver Society. I highly, highly recommend it. It has opened my eyes to so many things. This is the best time to dive into your education, your online education, maybe book a class if you can afford it. So those are my tips. If you are having a slow week, if you are struggling to get clients on your book, I plan on making a video all about how to grow your clientele. Obviously, everybody is so different and I feel like I've branded myself to be something so specific that obviously doesn't work for everybody. But I already do have some videos on how to grow your clientele. So if you're interested, those will be linked down below. If you guys have any video requests, I would be happy to make those for you. So don't forget to leave those down below and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.